former UFC and two-time Bellator lightweight champ Eddie Alvarez is now in the one championship, leaving us with just one question. Who's first for the underground king? The man we most want to see him face is Shinya Aoki, because they've already fought twice before, and the score is one apiece. Aoki is a legend of MMA and Japan's biggest active superstar, so you know it would draw a crowd. More importantly, however, he's a master of the grappling game, so much so that he has 27 wins by submission, with no less than 17 submission techniques. He's a difficult fight for anyone, and we need a third bout to split the difference. But Aoki doesn't have the title anymore. Martin Nguyen does, and he'd be more than happy to take on Alvarez, because he's not afraid of anyone. In the last few years, Australia's situation has been crushing opponents in multiple divisions, and he's been doing it so well that he didn't just take Edward Falaying's head off for the lightweight title. He also took the featherweight champ Merit Gafarov's head off for that title, too. And he almost took the bantamweight champ Bibiano Fernandez's head off in his shot at a third simultaneous belt. The double champ is game, but Eddie might want to test the one championship waters before going straight for the crown. And you couldn't ask for a better way to do that than a fight with the former champ, Edward Falaya. The Filipino landslide fights like his name suggests. Once he gets going, he's incredibly hard to stop. 12 decision wins from his 20 is all you need to know about that. And the best thing is that he's not even a defensive fighter. He's a tornado of spinning strikes, and when they land, they land hard. Possibly more important than that is that Falaya is the man who took the belt from Aoki. And with Alvarez almost guaranteed a third fight against Aoki, he might want to get in some cage time with someone else who has also beaten the MMA legend. Whichever way it goes, you can bet Alvarez has his eyes on the title. But there's a ton of fantastic fights on the horizon for one's new lightweight contender. And at this point, we'll be happy to see the MMA legend fight any of them.